Hey friends, it's me, Wayman, and I want to come on and do a video, kind of show you what I'm doing. Never showed you guys this before, but um, I got a degree in uh, ceramics uh, back in the day, before YouTube days. Um, I worked uh, at a ceramic pottery and it, uh, as an, an apprentice, wildflower pottery, and um, I worked there for a couple years while I was going to school. I got my degree BFA in ceramics, and so 15 years. It's been 15 years since I was able to do anything, and uh, I recently got this out of storage. And this is my old Amico kiln. Uh, I'm trying to get it going. Uh, we did lots of raku firings in this from Wildflower Pottery, and uh, I have this at my place now and I'm trying to get back into it found an old box of seconds mugs stuff that was not so good these are a little bit heavy on the bottom but I pulled these out of the shed uh, at my parents place where all this stuff was stored and uh, it's kind of funny but I've been kind of giving these away to friends and stuff just to get rid of them um, like I say, they're heavy on the bottom. They're, they're not my best stuff. That's why I kept them. And, uh, but my friends are saying, hey, I put them in the fridge, you know, cool them down. I can fit a beer and a half in there. <laughs> so what I really want to do is convert this garage into a studio. Let's look at all that. All that stuff's going to be gone once I get more organized. And uh, I want to get these kilns fired up. And then here's my wheel. 15 years since that ran and I plugged it in the other day and it, and it ran pretty well I probably have to get some better controls for it uh, the foot pedal is a little sluggish so I don't know I'll have to look into uh, getting something for that I got conversion kits coming for the kiln I had some trouble uh, with my burner here's my burner here um, so that's hooked up to the, uh, the sitter this is a uh, electrical component here that'll go into here. So it's kind of like an emergency shutoff for the gas. Got planes flying over. And um, so I need to get that hooked up safely. Um, I took all this stuff apart, cleaned it out. Um, I had a rat's nest in the uh, in the uh, in the burner. <laughs> they had. They had uh, straw and stuff stuck up into this section here, so I blew it all out. I need a, I need a better gauge for, for this here. My gauge ended up breaking. Look at this, you know, that's not that's not center line, and um, so I've been trying to get get everything together. So once I get this going, um, I'm gonna have the gas company come out and hook it up to the regulator into a tank and then I'm probably going to do a test firing. So what I want to do is, uh, there's a lot of moisture in this just from being in storage and it's kind of sad that it kind of deteriorated but uh, I need to get a peephole plug for that and um, just get things going. Um, so 15 years and I'm finally getting off Cersei's Island. Right, it took Odysseus 20 years to get back home. But either fate or some god has allowed me to do this now since I have the space. So, yeah, I got to clean all this stuff up. But just digging it out and going through it all, I've been looking at some old pictures and uh, kind of get back into it. Um, got reconnected with uh, my old... Uh, ceramic uh, mentor uh, that I worked at the pottery with so I might go visit and have some conversations with her and see some of her work that she's been doing so I just been working trying to pay off student loans and the house and everything and it was kind of rough so now I have a space I, I think what I'm gonna do is get it get a, uh, a tool shed right because all these tools and everything um, it's gonna go on a tool shed most of this stuff here is going to get moved out and yard sale in it, stuff like that. So 
It's just a matter of cleaning everything up. We cleared out an estate, so we have a lot of other people's stuff here. And so, that's what I plan on doing. So I just got to get some clay here. Uh, I haven't ordered that yet. And some glazes, and I got to dig out my old, my old books. So I need to do it right. Because I don't want to make costly mistakes on startup from not knowing something. And, uh, or not understanding something. Because, uh, it, it can get costly with this kind of stuff. And I want to do the right thing. So, sorry it's been so long. Uh, I'm still reading religion books. I believe all that's going to pay off. Um, from reading. Uh, and it's going to show up in my work, definitely. So I hope you're all doing fine. And remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.